heartbreak. Who did you hand over your heart to in the first place? I think it's high time we have a rethink and restructure our priorities and hand over our hearts to God and not to man. It is a break up and not break down. I see break up as a way of moving into God's plan for your marital life. Break up and step upward. Break down and remain downcast. The choice is yours. Break up can lead to emotional death and even physical death. Be careful on how you talk with people's emotions and feelings. Things of the heart are sensitive things and shouldn't be toyed or taken for granted or with little or no concern. Please do not reawoke in love when you're just recovering from heartbreak, from disappointment, from betrayers. Caution for men. Please allow her to first recover from the shock and from the emotional trauma and pains before you ask her out, before you propose to her. If you marry her without her recovering from the emotional shock and trauma, there could be transfer of aggression. The enemy can tell her to look into your eyes and once she sees you in the eyes, the only thing she sees is her ex, the one that put her into that emotional trauma, the one that put her into that problem. And the devil could whisper to her ears again and tell her that all men are the same. And my brother, if he gets to that extent, if he gets to that limit, when she pours out all her vexations, all her anger and frustrations on you, you regret and you ask questions if she ever loved you. But the truth is, she never loved you. You became her consolation prize. She can't love you because her ex broke her heart. Her first love broke her heart. And you're not her first love. And you can't be her first love. She's only, you're only there to occupy space to fill in the vacuum which the ex left behind. The healing is important. She has to be healed. How to be emotionally stable before venturing into another one. Before considering marriage. Before considering another marital commitment is important for you is important for her don't rush her once you discover that she's coming out of emotional issues give her time to heal give her time to recover give her time to settle emotionally before you take it to the next level don't be in a rush don't rush her don't allow her to rush you either it is very impossible to feel hurt to feel pain emotionally and also get healed Healing is a process that gets rid of hurts, betrayers, and pains. It takes time. It's not instantly. It's not immediately. Falling in love doesn't heal hurts. But time and forgiveness does. Give it time. Get healed emotionally. Get stable emotionally before you consider another relationship. If you are a man and you knew or you know that she's just coming out of a breakup, from a heartbreak, please give her a little time. Don't rush her for your own good. I want you to look at your life now. Do you think this is the right time for you to give love a chance or to go into a romantic relationship? Please, my viewers, I want us to trade with serious caution with the eatings of the heart. When the time isn't right, you're going to hook up with the wrong person. And you become a victim and the statistics of those terrible things people will experience when they fall in love at the wrong time. To avoid falling a victim, to avoid being a statistics that he was or she was, give it time. Don't be in a rush. Take it at a time, step by step. Be sure, be patient. Before you go in fully. Monitor commitment is not a thing you rush into. If you rush in, you're going to rush out. Many wouldn't have had that bad experience that destroyed their love, their heart, and their emotions if they had not stirred up love at the wrong time. Time is a factor when it has to do with things of the heart. Time and patience. Give it time. Be patient. Be prayerful and follow her gently. 
so that you don't become a statistics. A breakup does not mean you are a failure. Successful courtship ends in decision and not always in marriage. Think about that. Consolations. Psalm 147 verse 3. The Bible says that God healed the brokenhearted and bound their wounds. It's consolation for those that are in heart that have gone through heart pains, heartbreaks, breakups. God healed the brokenhearted and bound their wounds. It's an assurance. God is not a celestial matchmaker. Neither can he be blamed when a relationship ends. When a courtship ends, he cannot be blamed. In conclusion, God has an interest in your well-being. Pour out all your frustrations, all your tears, all your worries to him in prayers. And he will console you. He will heal you of that emotional pain. He will heal you of whatever it is that you have gone through that has held you bound. Continue to watch Abraham Boson's show. Together we shall make it a better place. Ciao, ciao.